Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, now the problem is if you have a large sequences, for example, if you have the 100 uh, sequences and 90 residues, right? Two sequences, one with the 100 residues and with the 90 residues, and if you use all possible alignments, you can have about 55 million possibilities. So, how to get the best alignment? So, the most obvious one is exhaustive searching, but that is not possible because of a lot of combinations. So, in this case, we need to develop a smart algorithm, different ways to get this alignment. So, one of these aspect is dynamic programming. How it works? In this method, it breaks the problem into a reasonably small ones and do the analysis and finally, combine together to get the final answer. For example, if I give this sequence C A, C G A and C G A, first we start with the first one. Take the first one C and C. There are three different ways you can align the first one. What are three different ways? Right, you can make C and C together. Or you can put a C and a gap here, and you can put a gap here and C here. Okay, if you do C and C together, then this aligned. So you get the score of plus one. If you see is taken out, then this is the remaining one. And the second as aspect, if you put the in a gap in the second one, and the first one is already aligned, so remaining is CGA, and the second one we did not do anything, so CGA is as it is. Third option, if you put the gap in the first one. Right. So, we have we did not use any nucleotide in the first sequence. So, it is as it is. Second one includes use the C. So, you can write the G A. So, you can continue as it is and then appropriately score and finally, you can add the whole scores and then see what will be the, the probable as alignment. So, in this case there are various routes for a particular se sequence pair of sequences. For example, if you say sequence A, this is sequence A 3, 6, 8, 3, 6, 8 nucleotides and the sequence B is longer ones. There are different ways to align. For example, if I align this way or this way, here I put together everything on the right side. Second one I give gaps in between, here is some gap and here is a gap. So, which one is the best alignment, this one or this one? First one, if you look into the alignment, you can see because here uh, everything is at the right side and some of them are aligned properly. So, we tell this is a good alignment. Second also if you see they probably put some cases which are whatever the aligns, they put the aligns uh, right and the other places they put the gaps. So, which one is a good alignment? So, which one you need to uh, use right. So, are different ways. For example, the two sequences, when you align the sequence here this is a match because both are same I will discuss earlier, this is a mismatch because both are different. Here we inserted the gaps here right, so, this is because this is deleted, so deletion gap here we inserted the nucleotide, so insertion gap. Okay, now, how to align? So, here you put the sequence A here and the sequence B here. There are different ways to align. So, if you make this type of alignment, first one is C, so C and C connected and three gaps. So, here if you go on the uh, x directions and then again they align the three residues 1, 2, 3, right 1, 2, 3 and then again two gaps, here two gaps and finally, they are end this is the, the corner. So, take the first one this is a sequence A, this is a sequence A. So, here this is sequence B, first we C and C we align, so C and C we put it here and they put three gaps. So, in this case we moved the three, three, three characters 1, 2, 3, then we have 3 to 4, 3 letters 1, 2, 3 they are aligned. So, they are corner 1, 2, 3 right these two are here and we have the two gaps. So, we go the down vertically down two gaps and the last one is here. Okay. So, now if you have this one okay, this is the path. Now, if you align the sequence in a different way here we do not care about the matching or mismatching score just we try to align. So, now the last one is a gap. So, here everything we aligned and then finally, you put a gap here right here this is a gap. So, now this one if you put a gap at the first one. So, this is a gap and all others are aligned. So, this is another example if you see one gap is here and here this is aligned C and G are aligned. So, then again two gaps 
and here again the 3 aligned and then 1 gap right and 2 are aligned and 1 gap. So, now there are multiple ways multiple pathways to align the sequences these are the various ways. Now, the question is which one we need to choose which one is the best one right. So, in this case we give a scoring function right for example, if we give a scoring function if it is 8 match then we give a score of plus 8 and with mismatch we give minus 5 and gap symbol we give minus 3 for example, if it is match means weight of x comma y equal to 8 if x equal to y right if it is a c and then a c. So, we can see this match score equal to 8 mismatch score if x is not equal to y for example, one is a c and another is t. So, we can give this score minus 5 gap symbol we give minus 3 for example, the c and the gap give minus 3 this is an example. In the reality if you see the gap symbol should get more penalty than the mismatch score. So, if you do like this first if you see c and c match. So, score will be 8 and the second one we introduce a gap. So, what will be next one 8 minus 3 equal to 5 because 8 here and because the gap minus 3 that is equal to 5. So, again we introduce a gap. So, this number will be 5 minus 3 equal to 2 fine. So, the next again the gap minus 1. So, likewise then we add the score t plus t that is plus score minus 1 plus 8 equal to 7 and then go with this one this is a mismatch t and a. So, minus 5 this is equal to 2 finally, we get the score that is equal to 12. Now, so we want to see there are various numbers you get depending upon this one alignment. So, we have different ways of pathways. So, different pathways will give you different numbers. So, to combine everything right Wunsch and Needleman they brought up an algorithm in a smart way to select why which one we have to align. So, for example, if first sequence is a 1 a 2 a m and the second is b 1 b 2 b n. So, we can align different ways you can align. So, if they give proper initialization and they give a score that is s i j. If you have one nucleotide and if you want to make the alignment compared with the previous ones either we can give gap for insertion or for deletion or you can compare these two nucleotides giving the match score or which match score. So, he use these values right and take the maximum first way is whether it is insertion or deletion right or this is a matching score or mismatching score you wait depending upon a and b if it is a match we give the match score if it is mismatch we get mismatch score otherwise we give the, the gap score ok we give the maximum values because why you give, give the maximum values to maximize the score because we want to have the best alignment so he wants to maximize the score so with all the three conditions he took the maximum of all the three options so here take the value from left and add a gap penalty along the left axis or take the value from the above and the gap penalty along the y axis or take the diagonal and take the weight whether this is match or mismatch. So, how to do that? So, first we give the gap symbol minus 3 right. So, we initialize first. So, we give minus 3 if we completely gap then we give this minus 24 right up to for the uh, both ways ok. Now, first case is first we have to align. So, which one is the first number? So, three options for this one what are the three options? 0, 0, minus one we can come from here or you can come from here or from left to right. Here we introduce gap, here we introduce gap and here we introduce the alignment either match or mismatch. So, option 1 s yes, 0 0 k okay, from here weight of a 1 comma b 1. So, here if you see a what is a 1? C what is b 1? C the match. So, match score equal to 8. So, we put 0 plus 8 this equal to 8. Then option 2 we go from s 1 1 that is equal to s 0 1 plus weight of a 1 comma gap. If you do this this minus 3 already minus 3. So, put another minus 3. So, this will be minus 6. Then option 3 we go this 1 comma 0 and with the gap in the first term and the b 1. So, if you see this one this gap this is minus 3. So, again it is minus 3 this will be minus 6. Now, compare this 3 1 is 8 1 is minus 6 1 is minus 6 which one is the maximum 8. So, what is the maximum value of 8 here. So, what is the value here what are the possibilities the numbers from here what is the number minus 8 this way 
minus 9 and this way this 5. So, 5 is the maximum. So, you put 5 here. So, now it is 5. So, what number here? These are the options minus 8 plus 5 and minus 9 right. So, this is the maximum is 5. So, you put 5 here fine. This one quickly 5 minus 2 equal to 3 here equal to 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 equal to 2 5 minus 3 equal to 2 and here 8 minus 5 equal to 3 because of mismatch. So, this is the maximum. So, we put 3 here. So, finally, we fill the uh, matrix. So, finally, we get the optimum score of 14. So, now the question is how to go back because we get the maximum value from the highest value we go back because the 3 possibilities 3 directions and see which one is the best you go back and then finally, make the alignment right. This is the 14 is the highest one then go back this among the 3 this is the 6 and then this 9 and 1 6 minus 2 and 3 and here we see 8. So, now here we have one we introduce one gap here. So, this gap is here, gap is here T and T are aligned right and then if you see all others are aligned C C T G T G A A and A T C C right. So, we have we aligned all other sequences. So, you put the number. So, finally, we get total of 14. So, now if you have two sequences we check the two sequences and there are three possibilities to fill the matrix and take the maximum number and fill the matrix and trace back to, to see the root and finally, you can make this alignment. So, here there are two types of alignment. One alignment is the global alignment as I discussed in the previous classes. Here it considers everything all the residues are aligned and the some cases we align only some particular regions ok. This is called the local alignment ok. For why we need local alignment? For yeah, for short repeats or some cases there are small motifs which are important for any specific functions like T A T A box binding protein. So, Tata box is important for the binding. So, if you want to see the small repeats or small motifs we can get from this local alignment right. For example, if this is the sequence A and sequence B some cases we consider all the sequence together. So, for the global alignment here gaps are also counted and here you can see we ignore the caps and then see only the other regions right there for the local alignment. And also another alignment called semi global alignment this will tell you how we can align the different sequences with respect to gaps with the internal or the outside. Some case if you see the gaps outside these terminal gaps are usually the result of incomplete data acquisition and may not have any biological significance. In this case you can remove this gaps and if you remove the terminal gaps then we align only the sequences which is in between. So, this type of alignment we call as semi global alignment ok. How to do this alignment? For example, if you get two sequences ok this sequence 1 and this sequence 2 we can make different types of alignments. For example, you can make this type of alignment. If you look like a global alignment is a kind of only bad alignment because one gap here and some gaps here and the residues are not properly aligned. But if you look into details right, it will give you the matching region called TATA. So, then we how to extract this type of information. So, in this case Smith and Waterman they propose another option so, currently they got 3 options right Unsen Needleman proposed 3 options what are 3 options match or mismatch the recent insertions right they take the maximum of these 3 conditions. So, he they proposed on the fourth option. So, the value of 0 they do not want to have any negative values right they want to have the positive values if it goes a negative just remove it because we do not have to include in the alignment. So, they include the alignment only the positive values. So, now the condition is the maximum of these 4 options one is S i minus 1 S j minus 1 diagonal right go through diagonal lines. So, with a and b with respect to match and mismatch. The second one is the gap third is also gap insertion and deletion and the last option they give 0. So, if you have this same sequence I give a sequence first initialization because there is no negative values. So, put a 0 right what will come here 
8 8 right this equal to 8 because c and c this is 8 this is match and here this is a gap is minus 3 and the other gap is insertion minus 3 so this is option is 4 is 0 so the maximum of this among these 4 is 8 so i put 8 right what is the next one what will you come what will come here Thirteen. Thirteen? Yes. Right. Right? Thirteen. Right? So now we fairly completed this matrix. Right? So now the maximum score is eighteen. Right? So now go back with this eighteen. So go with this ten. Here this again among these three is thirteen. So here this is five, this is eight, and then zero, so this stop here. So, make here, so this is the 18 T and T match, right. Here then we use this gap, so A, then C and C are matching, right. Then another gap, so A and D are matching, so it is equal to 18, right. So, I will give you another example. So, here these are two sequences, this is sequence 1, this is 2, and how to make the alignment. So, for simplicity, I put the match score equal to 1, match score equal to minus 1, and gap symbol equal to minus 1. So, what is the uh, value? Minus. 0? That is 0 because in this is a maximum of the 4 conditions, right. The maximum is 0, right. We do not have any negative values, right. So, it is 0. So, if you make the alignment, finally, we get these numbers here equal to 1, this equal to 2, and this equal to 3, and this equal to 4. So, now this is a maximum, right. So, now we trace back. 4, 3, 2, 1. So, finally, if you see the alignment, this is A and A, A and A and A, okay, this A and this A, right, A and A aligned, and the T and T, this T and this T aligned, and this A and this A aligned, and this T and this T aligned. After that is 0. So, we get this motif between these two sequences. Right, this is a specific motif for the DNA binding proteins, right. So, we could find the specific motifs or the new patterns right, in any uh, alignments. So, this is the applications for this uh, local alignment. So, there are two questions. So, we can use these two different algorithms, right, to align the sequences uh, 1 and the sequence 2 either with the local alignment or with the global, global alignment. So, so far, what did we discuss today? Yeah, the algorithms for alignment, right. So, how to if you have two sequences, right. So, different ways to align, right. So, what is dynamic programming? So, we divide the uh, alignment process into smaller uh, parts. Small parts, yes. We will uh, align, in, in small, small fragment will align and. And then finally, merge together to form the uh, complete, complete, complete alignment, right. Right. So, what are the two different uh, algorithms we discussed today? Needleman-Wunsch algorithm. Wunsch algorithm. And Smith-Waterman algorithm. Wunsch Needleman algorithm is for which type of alignment? Global. Global alignment, right? What is the condition used in Wunsch uh, Needleman algorithm? Substitution means. Substitution score. Yeah, that's maximum of three different conditions, right? So either substitution score or the insertion or the deletion. In the case of uh, local alignment. Yeah, the Fourth condition or the fourth, what is the fourth condition? Zero. That is zero, right? So now we can uh, get the values. So till now we use some numbers for the mass score or mix mass score or the graph. We use some numbers, right? In the beginning of the lecture we discussed about some matrices. So what are the matrices we discussed? Pi matrix and the Blossom matrix. So what are the characteristics of pi matrix? It considers mutations. It considers mutations, right? So depending upon the type of mutations are based on this charge or the actually it depends on the actual mutability rate, right. In the, in the in the actual cases depending on the mutability rate, so they derive the matrix. So, accordingly you can use the numbers available in the blossom matrix or the pi matrix to give the weightage, either the match or the mismatch you give the weightage, then you can give the probable alignment, right. This is what they use in the blast when they implement the algorithm. So, next class we will discuss about the software for aligning sequences. How now we discuss about how blast works. Now, I will tell you how they take two sequences and how they align the sequences and what is the score they give, how they evaluate 
the score between two different alignments. For example, if you have one sequence, if it is aligned with three, four different sequences, which one has the highest score? Which one has the most probable alignment? Right. So they give the alignment scores. They try to optimize this alignment. Right. We will discuss in the next class. Thank you for your kind attention.